G'day everybody, this is another update from Alex, tilt tray build. Uh, my brother, who's a very good panel beater, um, he's uh, needed some work so we gave it to him. He's uh, completely repainted this chassis and the, all the bits in between. And he did a really a good a job in restoring this cab. I don't know if you guys remember the previous videos of this truck where the cab is absolutely shagged. Um, there was rust and holes and dents and dings and bits and pieces all over the joint. That guard was absolutely just hammered. And if you remember there was no paint here. It was all stuffed, it was all out of shape. He fixed the brackets, he fixed everything. And he even did the inside edges, which is amazing for a truck that normally doesn't get done. And uh, yeah, tilt tray build was coming along. I still haven't put the rear main back in because I'm still having an airing. Still not 100% on it because uh, some, well, Isuzu say there's no tool and there's no specific method to its madness, and you just put it in like any other rear main seal. But saying to me, just put it in like any other rear main seal, like I did last time and it failed, well, yeah, dodgy. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get into that shortly. I have to. I have to. If you, we need the tilt tray back on the road. I don't know if you guys have ever done a rear main seal on a car. Well, that's me hand, and that's the seal. It's pretty big. That's the, uh, I'll let the motorbikes pass. That's the jiffy sleeve for the seal. That goes over the crank, and then the seal goes over the sleeve. But, uh, yeah. More progress, but uh, it's gonna be slow. And basically, once I get that seal in and get the box back in, I can go over the pits, and then uh, we can start the transferring. Anyway, just another quick little, uh, Tilt Tray update from me. Thanks for watching.